Shalom. Today we're going to cover some of the small words again. We're going to look at the different ways of expressing the negative in Hebrew, and there are several particles, different ways to do this. The most common one you probably already know is lo, and it means no. It's usually spelled like this with just the dot for the O, but it always has the Aleph. Genesis 2.5 and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For Jehovah God had not, lo, caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. So the concept of there was not a man does not contain this word, lo. It has a different form, which we'll learn in a little bit. Genesis 2.17 But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. In Genesis 2.18, And Jehovah God said, It is not good, lo tov, that the man should be alone, I will make him a help meet for him. The concept of negating a command, do not do something, when the word lo is used, that is a continuing commandment, don't do that. And so if we look in Exodus 20, in the midst of the Ten Commandments, or the Ten Sayings, we see, looking at Commandments 6, 7, 8, and 9, we see it says, Lo tirzach, do not murder. Lo tinach, do not commit adultery. Because these are permanent commandments. There's a different word for temporary commandments. And sometimes we get a little bit tr different translation. Genesis 23, 6. Hear us, my Lord. Thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. None, no of us, none of us, shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. Again, in a kind of ascent of permanence, Genesis 41, 19. And behold, seven other kind came up after them, poor and very ill-favored and lean-fleshed, such as I never saw, it simply says, lo ra'iti, I didn't see, but in the long-term sense, it's translated as never saw in all the land of Egypt for badness. So this lo is being used to negate a permanent command, don't do this. It is also used to negate the past tense, I didn't do that, or I never did that, or I will not do that. Now, sometimes this lo is spelt with the full O, oh, the cholem vav. Genesis 31, 35. And she said to her father, Let it not displease my Lord. This is a different negation, which we will learn in a minute, that I cannot rise up before thee. This is the lo that's spelt with a vav. For the custom of women is upon me. And he searched, but found not. This is the regular spelling of lo without the vav, the images. Leviticus 5, 1. And if a soul sin, and hear the voice of swearing, and is a witness, whether he has seen it or known of it, if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. Now an interesting little word that you will find under the same Strong's entry is hello, like hello. The hey is a question particle, and the low is not. Is it not? It's almost cognate with when people in English say, hello, didn't you know that? It's obvious. So it, it forms this sort of question. Genesis thirty-seven thirteen, And Israel said to Joseph, do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem. Isn't that true? You know it's true. Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, here I am. Genesis forty-two twenty-two, And Reuben answered them, saying, spake I not unto you? Didn't I tell you this? It's a question. Saying, do not sin against the child. This is a different do not. We'll learn it in a minute. And ye would not hear. Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. One of the main confusing things about that low, which is no, is this low, which means either to him or his. We'll see in a minute. The negative particle, no, always has an aleph. Whether it has the vav or not, it always has an aleph. This lo is made up the preposition lamid, which means to, and the personal pronoun o, lo, to him or his. You will not find an entry for this listed in Strong's. In Genesis 3, 9, And Jehovah God called unto Adam and said unto him, Lo, to him, where art thou? Genesis 16, 1, 
and Sarai, Abram's wife, bare to him, him, lo, no children. And she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. So we see here, Visarai, Eshet, Abraham, and Sarah, the wife of Abraham, lo, yalda, lo. We see the two lo's are spelled differently. The first is negative past tense. She did not bear. And the second low is to him. She did not bear to him. Deuteronomy 21.17 But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him, to him, a double portion of all that he hath. This is an idiomatic phrase that says all that is found to him, all that belongs to him. Lo, for he is the beginning of his strength and the right of the firstborn is his. The preposition lamid not only means to a person, but it also signifies ownership. You see at the beginning of many of the Psalms, the Psalms of David, it says le David, a Psalm of David, it belongs to him. So this is this his at the end of this sentence. The right of the firstborn is his. It belongs to him. And the word there is used lo. Getting back to the negative particles, we've already covered this all in the El Al series, and I will put a link to that below. All is used to negate a command, which is a temporary command. It's not permanent forever. It might be just for the case of the person who is either receiving or giving the command. Genesis 13, 8. And Abram said to Lot, let there be no strife. Literally in Hebrew, let not there be. Al tihi, let there not be, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we are brethren. In Genesis 24, 26, and he said unto them, hinder me not, do not hinder me. It's a temporary request from Eliezer to the people in Laban's household. He's ready to take the bride for Isaac. Seeing Yehovah hath prospered my way, send me away that I may go to my master. There is a very similar particle, which is Baal. Don't confuse this with the Baal, which are the false gods. This is just two letters, Baal. First Chronicles 1630. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Psalm 16, 8. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another god. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. I won't do this, and I won't do that. Not, not. Now, all the bet lamed words have to do with things being absent or non-existent. So here is another one, which is sometimes translated as not, and that is bilti. Genesis 3.11. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldst not eat. You should go without eating from it. Exodus 8.22. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there. To the end thou mayest know that I am Jehovah in the midst of the earth. Another translation, Numbers 11.6. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all besides this manna before our eyes. Joshua 10.33. Then Horam, king of Gezer, came up to help Lachish. And Joshua smote him and his people until he had left him none remaining. Another Related word that is sometimes translated not, really meaning more without, is bli. Genesis 31, 20. And Jacob stole away unawares to Laban the Syrian, in that he told him not that he fled. He left without telling him. Job 4, 11. The old lion perisheth for lack of prey, and the stout lion's whelps are scattered abroad. Job 8, 11. Can the rush grow up without mire? Can the flag grow without water? The flag is a kind of a plant. Sometimes we don't see the not or the without, even though the blee is there. Deuteronomy 4.42 That the slayer might flee thither, which should kill his neighbor unawares, and hated him not in times past, and that fleeing unto one of these cities he might live. 
So I put in this LSB version, which is a new version, which has generally replaced the NASB. So you can see the without. That a manslayer might flee there who slew his neighbor without premeditation. That's the blee. We look at the whole thing in Hebrew. Lanus shama rotzeach. He should flee there, the murderer. Asher yirtzach et re'ehu, who has murdered his neighbor. Bivli da'at, without thinking about it, without knowledge. So that's the bli. The hu lo, negative particle. He did not, so ne hate, lo, him. He did not hate him, lo, with an aleph, so ne lo, with no aleph. One more particle is ain. Ain altogether means there isn't any or there aren't any, it doesn't exist, and we'll see what that looks like. We saw this before, Genesis 2.5. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for Jehovah God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. So that whole there was not is one word in Hebrew, ain, where it said God had not caused it to rain, that is lo. Genesis 5.24 and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. The Ain will decline. It will add the personal pronouns. So he was not, Ain, and no. I was not, and then me, and so on. Isaiah 1.15 And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. In other words, I am not hearing. Your hands are full of blood. So ain is also used to negate the present tense verb. There is not a lot of present tense verb usage in Tanakh, so you don't see it that much. But in modern Hebrew, it's pretty much the same. The past and the future are negated with lo, and the present is negated with ain. Psalm 10.4 The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. The word there used is Baal, Baal Yadrosh, he will not seek. God is not in all his thoughts, Ein Elohim. So here are a few different uses all in one verse. And it's very common in Hebrew to have double negatives where things are repeated, where different negative particles are next to each other even in a sentence. Genesis 43, 5. But if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. So in Hebrew, Ve'im incha mishaleach. Mishaleach is a present tense verb. It is negated by the ain particle. The second person singular, you, is attached to the ain particle. Incha, you will not send. Lo nered. This is a future tense verb. It is negated by the regular lo particle. We will not go down. This is a regular future tense verb with the lo negation particle. We will not go down. Ki ha'ish amar elenu. Because the man said to us, Lo tiru banai. You will not see my face. This is a future tense verb. Tir u. It is negated by the low particle. Bilti. Without. Achichem itchem. Your brother is with you. Joseph talking to his brothers, wanting to see Benjamin. So we have these particles. Low. The negative particle that is attached to a continuous command that negates past or future verb and some other uses. We have al, the aleph lamed, that negates temporary commands. We have the bet lamed words bal, bilti, and bli that carry the concept of being without or something is gone. 
and we have aim, one word that is used to express the idea of there is not or there are not. I know it's a lot of material, but as you're reading, you will begin to notice these different particles and you'll be able to distinguish them more clearly. Until next time, Tasimita Inayim al Keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.